Next question is from Fulvio the Castle. What's the best way to increase core strength and performance? Okay, so since performance was included in this, uh, I'm going to avoid the kind of aesthetic uh, exercises because you could definitely do exercises that develop the muscles like a bodybuilder, really get them to look really great. And then there's performance, which means how well does my core perform in right. lots of different movements? I mean, most movements involve the core to some uh, degree. So when we're talking about performance, really it's about stabilization. It's about mm -hmm. keeping the core stable. It's about transferring energy. Can I use my legs and my upper body and have the core transfer that energy very well? Because you'll notice if you run or walk, there's this kind of counter mm -hmm. uh, pendulum that happens. Cross-sectioning sort of pattern. Yeah. So I like uh, rotational exercises. I like, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, counter or anti-rotation anti -rotation, yeah. exercises. Stabilization uh, movements where I'm holding and stabilizing explosive you know, medicine ball slams and throws. I mean, those are really going to give you phenomenal uh, core performance in terms of athletics and being able to move. I think you have to break down a little bit more exactly the difference between because st strength and, and performance are different goals. So if you if you came at me and you said I just want to build strength in my core, the w the training routine would look different than if you came to me and said I want to have performance in my core. Like when I think performance, I think of uh, speed, acceleration, control, stability, explosiveness, rotational strength. All those are, that's all performance driven, right? Mm -hmm. I want to be able to have this this stable, strong, explosive, reactive, controlled core. And then if you say, I want to have a strong core, like that's building strength, just like it's building strength in, in quads or biceps or any other muscle. So it's it's a different adaptation. Now there's carryover from each to both of them, right? If you have, if you never trained your core and you get stronger, you're going to have some performance benefits. And you also, if you train for performance benefits, you're going to get some strength benefits from it, but they yeah. are different adaptations we're, we're trying to go after yeah. here. Well, I, I know in terms of performance, couple exercises just for like sort of a visual that come to mind are like chops like wood chops or like you know upward chops or you know like just rotating you know across your body with either your hips being in anti-rotational um, stabilized position or rotating with you so there's there's both of those elements to it where I like to I like to be able to compartmentalize that. So a lot of times in athletics, you need to be able to have like a nice stable base uh, in order to produce ground forces, but also you need your upper body to be able to rotate, you know, ferociously. Uh, and, and you'll see that a lot in, you know, in baseball, you'll see that a lot, you know, when, when you're hitting, uh, you know, a baseball or, uh, you know, you're throwing a punch or, you know, how to generate that kind of force from the ground through your legs, you know, be able to anchor your hips and then be able to drive and uh, take that momentum uh, through through your arms. So, so what I'm hearing from both of you guys is that if someone came to you with this specific question that I want core strength and I want performance, it sounds like you both would go, I'm going to focus on performance because I know that I'm going to get some strength from it. Because both the exercises you guys are recommending right now are more performance-based. Yeah, and I, I would say it's strength is very specific. So, okay, I want a stronger core for yeah. what? Uh, you just want to like be able for to the do, look of it, or yeah, yeah. more reps uh, with a high resistance exercise like a leg raise or a decline sit up, or just stable in a squat and a deadlift. Yeah, um, performance. I tend to think more of sports than you know than like football, <clears throat> baseball, you know, tennis, those types of sports. Um, but yeah, I mean, strength is just it's very specific. Like I can get very strong with a decline sit up with resistance and really activate my core have a good, strong, stable core. But be terrible um, at throwing a ball. Yeah, because there's a lot of technique, skill, and speed that's involved in that. So, you, you know, it, and this is, by the way, it's a good uh, attribute. I mean, it is awesome to train your core. Like, we have the No BS six-pack formula, which is really an aesthetic-based uh, and strength-based ab and core program. Really developed to build the abs so they're more visible. Um, and there's carry over there. But if you want like athletic and sports performance, train your core like an athlete. Well, that's where I would lean you to. Okay, so perfect example. No BS, six-pack abs, more strength-based core stuff in there. Maps performance right. more more yeah, yeah, yeah you point. start with the foundation of the strength right, right. to be able to gain that uh, control but really stabilizing the spine so you, you know being able to do that on command is the first step because you need to be able to be anchored and be grounded where you are right uh, and be strong in that position whatever it is uh, and then the performance to me is now adding a lot more variables to that right. where things need to rotate things need to anti-rotate uh, and how you're able to kind of put all that together uh, is performance.